you are trying to connect to a remote computer under Linux. And unfortunately, the remote screen occupies only part of your screen, and in some cases, all the controls at your end remain where they should, making it impossible to click anything on the remote screen. Unfortunately, any desk developers seem to believe that Windows is still the future, and even though they do have a Linux version, they don't provide any support for it. So you can report issues all you want, but they probably will do nothing about them. And others will say, well, why do you want to use any desk? There is an open source Rust desk. Well, the trouble with Rust desk is that you have to self-host it, and the beauty of any desk is that you can just tell the remote person who may be not computer savvy to download and run any desk and just tell you the numbers so you can connect to them. You don't have to set up a server, you don't need a dedicated IP address, and you don't have to mess with net and opening any ports. The only alternative to that is TeamViewer. Unfortunately, they choose not to work in certain locations. And AnyDesk used to work just fine under Linux, it's only the latest versions that don't. The trouble is, you most probably run a Wayland session in Linux. And also, most probably, you are using KDE, the Plasma desktop, which is based around Qt, while AnyDesk uses GTK, and they recently updated it from GTK2 to GTK3, they also seem to only support X11, and the reason why the remote screen occupies only a portion of your screen is that scaling is not working. If you try to find the solution, some will say to change this setting for legacy X11 applications in KDE settings, However, that changes nothing. And the solution is actually very simple. All you need to do is to send a certain variable to the AnyDesk executable. And all you need to do is to change the desktop file, which is a shortcut file which launches AnyDesk. To locate it, I will be using Far Manager, which is the best thing that happened to computers file-wise since the days of Norton Commander. So the desktop file is located here, you need to open it for editing, and in the exact line, just before AnyDesk, insert this thing. This will start AnyDesk with this variable. Don't forget to save the file, and after that, just to make sure, run this command from root to update those desktop files. And as soon as you do that, the scaling issue will be gone. And you only need to do it if you installed AnyDesk from the repository using the standard package manager. If you are running it from a flat pack, the flat pack maintainer seems to have added this variable to the executable, and if you are using an app image like myself, I personally asked the maintainer of app image to add this command to the startup script so the latest releases of the app image also work just fine under KDE in a valent session. So that's how you fix the scaling issue. I am the god of YouTube! Like, subscribe, jingle bells.